trauma support and counseling program will expand to more Chicago public schools this year. It's designed for kids who've lost a loved one to gun violence. WGN's Christine Flores is on the southwest side with more on the program and what it means for impacted families. Oh, good evening. A block party is underway for students and families who have lost a loved one to gun violence. An organization is preparing them with back to school essentials. That same organization is expanding to 16 schools this fall. I had to let them know mom won't be home. Mom is in heaven. Like how all adults to tell children your mom is heaven and she's watching us. But without Chicago survivors, I wouldn't know exactly how to handle it and how to word it. Donna Pearson Simmons is grandmother to six-year-old Keontae Boyd Jr. and three-year-old Amari Reed. The pair lost their mother, 26-year-old Erica Reed, when she was gunned down on May 12, 2023, in the 8500 block of South Commercial, just before 5 a.m. Family members say she was leaving a party when police found her unresponsive with a gunshot wound to her head. Excellent mom. She loved her babies. She, oh my God. <laughs> I know she's looking down now, you know, I, I just hate that she didn't get the chance to see him grow, to see him start school, Keontae started kindergarten. Donna and her two grandchildren continue to receive support and services from Chicago Survivors, a nonprofit school-based trauma support and counseling program. We can offer individual therapy, group therapy. We do wellness days at their school, treating specifically grief and complicated trauma symptoms. During a press conference Friday afternoon, the organization, accompanied by U.S. Senator Dick Durbin and Chicago Public Schools representatives, announced they will be expanding to 16 schools starting this fall. Chicago survivors, thank goodness you're here. Thank goodness you're reaching out to children and families who have been touched by violence and giving them a second look at life. For Donna, the support continues to go a long way, mentioning the improvements seen in her grandson. Now he's understanding, he's able to tell you and talk about it freely without crying or without being upset. While this wraps up their summer portion, organizers say their work continues year round. They went on to say that they're usually the first ones on scene providing families with long-term resources. Reporting in the Chicago Lawn neighborhood, Christine Flores, WGN News.